Hello guys, welcome to today's session in Quantsap and today we will be learning about how to make profit entry and exit when you are trading, right? So before that, before coming to the main topic, if you are new to the video and you haven't downloaded the application, so you can go into the description, there is a link below and you can successfully download and install the software. Right now, after com uh, completely successful registration, you will get some of the free tools, 25, right? And you can, uh, you know, use those tools and enhance your trading journey. Okay. Uh, when you will come in the learn section, so here we have the video library. So in the video library, you will get 80 plus tools here. Okay. So they are the pro tools and they will help you to maximize your profit. Also, there is a bank of videos so you can go through it. Okay, it will be very helpful for you. We have this video in multiple languages, so you can choose your language, whichever your preference is, right? Now, in this section, we have our support. So, in case you are having any kinds of doubts or queries, so you can directly contact us, you can mail us, you can call us also. Okay, so we will be there to sort your queries out, right? Okay, guys. So, now we are moving towards our topic. Okay, so... In today's topic, we will be covering how to make perfect entry and exit if you are trading. Okay, if you are doing the futures, if you are doing options and equity also, right? So, we will be analyzing that. Now, before coming to the main, like how you can make a perfect entry and exit, I'll, uh, you know, define some terms to you, right? So, we'll do basic thing first, right? Now, let's right? <coughs> For example, when you are trading, so... There are some terms like, uh, for example, moving averages and uh, you guys must have heard about it, right? So, for example, if a price is moving in an upward direction, right? Or in either direction, you can say, okay, so we use some moving average, right? So, we use some moving average, okay? Moving average. Now, what are moving average? So, basically, what we do? We just see the back, uh, you know, the past price, the past data of the price and we calculate the price on an average basis. Okay. For example, I have chosen a 10 EMA or 10 SMA. So what it will do, it will give me an average of 10 days or 20 days of that particular price of the, of that particular stock. Right. So for example, this is my price. So now if I'll apply some moving average here, so it will give me an average of the price. Okay. From the past data to the recent market right now in the moving average also <clears throat> we have sma that is the simple moving average and the other one is ema that is the exponential moving average right now you can use either sma or either ema but i'll tell you the difference okay what are the difference uh, between these two so simple moving average basically what it calculates it gives you the average of the overall prices, right? And, uh, you know, when you will use the simple moving average, you, you will see it, you know, works in a, uh, a very, uh, you know, neutral manner. So, if there will be a sudden spike in the market, okay, if there will be a sudden uh, gap down or, uh, you know, a sudden fall in the market, so your SMA will not fluctuate that much, right? So, what you can do, you can use this EMA, you can use this EMA in the intraday trading. Okay, if you are doing the intraday, so you can use this one, right? <clears throat> you can use it in positional trades also. Okay, that basically depends on you, like how you decide for this simple moving average. Now coming to the exponential moving average. So how it works, for example, your market is going, uh, you know, going up and suddenly there is a spike, okay, in downward direction. Now the exponential moving average will move very slowly. Okay, and it will calculate the overall average. But if you will uh, notice the exponential moving average, so what will it do? It will go here and when there is a sudden spike, so it will suddenly move in the downward direction because the exponential gave, uh, moving average, you know, it gives uh, more weightage to the recent prices. Okay, and that is why sometimes it is very dangerous if you are doing the intraday or scalping. Okay, so you should avoid applying this right now today we will be covering how you can make a perfect entry and exit with the help of exponential moving average but how by using the 20 moving average exponential moving average of 20 right <clears throat> now if i'll show you in the chart for example uh, in the coins application okay you are analyzing some stock so you can go here in the track section and there is the open interest okay so, and, so when you will look into the open interest now so you will get to know like if you are trading at this price 
1441 okay and when you will come down so there is a you know resistance uh, you know you can say support here at the level of 1400 because there are so many put sellers here okay who wants price to be uh, you know uh, who want price to be greater than this level 1400 right so this is how you can calculate okay there is a <coughs> support so my price will come down to this level and then it can move upward right so uh, at this point you can make your entry but how to make your exit okay so let's see here in the chart section you will have to go in analyze and you can open chart trade and order right so right now i have applied ipc lab here okay now when i'm doing trade in this particular stock okay and i have applied 20 uh, exponential moving average here right now you can see here what i have applied i am using a time frame of 10 days right why uh, sorry i am using a time frame of a day time frame you can see here day time frame why because i don't want my exponential moving average to make a sudden moves when my price you know falls or you know uh, go in the upward direction okay now how to analyze this exponential moving average so you can see when we are using this 20 ma so the price basically sticks around this level okay so my price is going and uh, somewhere it is moving with it right so uh, how you can use this now if there is if there is if there is a sideways market right if there is a sideways market so at that time you should avoid using any moving average or if i'm talking about the 20 moving average okay so you should avoid this strategy if there is a sideways market right but if there is a trending market like we can see here in this stock so there was a trending market so the market is obviously going in the upward direction right so at that time you can use 20 exponential moving average to make your perfect entry and exit okay now you can see my moving average okay it moves with the price so my price come goes up and then it falls down to the moving average then again it goes up then uh, falls to the moving average again then goes up falls to the moving average okay and the similar is happening in the future also right so we can see it here okay okay now how you can use it okay so first of all you can take help of uh, supply zone demand zone okay or you can either take the help of resist, uh, sorry trend line also support and resistance also but well, uh, what i'll prefer if you are making a resistance here for example i am making a resistance at this point right i have made a resistance now you can see sorry support now you can see my price fall down to this level but it did not touched my support right so it means i have missed my entry right similarly you can see at this point also the price came down but still it is very far from my support okay so still so if i would have be trading with the help of this support so i would have missed my entry right so for that scenario we particularly use supply and demand zone and that works so much uh, you, you know more uh, accurately uh, if you are using sup uh, support and resistance okay okay so i have made a demand zone here so demand zone when your price is going in the negative direction okay and your price has fallen down okay so there then there is a demand zone created from where it is expected that your price will move in the upward direction okay because then the buying will uh, start here okay the demand will increase so uh, we anticipate that the price will go up right now i have created a demand zone here similarly you can create your supply zone also in the upward direction for example uh, my this stock okay the price was taking a resistance at this point now how you how you can create a supply zone or demand zone so basically what we do if there is a swing high right and there is a candle like this okay at the topmost position and then your price is going up so what you can do you can just basically follow the body of this particular candle and you can make a supply zone in the above direction right now in this section i have uh, uh, what i have done i am taking this one a candle in the bottom okay and from this candle i have made here the supply uh, sorry demand zone right so i have made my demand zone so basically it is almost of the body of my lower most candle right so this is how you can make supply zone and demand zone okay now what uh, what will i do whenever my market will come down to this level okay uh, somewhere near to my demand zone so at that time i'll make my entry because then the price has fallen so much down so i can initiate my entry okay so this is this will be a perfect entry okay 
now after it is uh, it has come down to the demand zone so then you can initiate your entry and then it will go to the your 20 uh, exponential moving average okay so similarly you can see here after one or two three uh, two three dips okay uh, when it has successfully fallen down to the demand zone i was waiting that the price will again when it comes to the demand zone then i'll initiate my entry okay so after some time my market went up when it again came down okay so market will always give you opportunity if you have missed your entry here here so then again the market fallen down to the demand zone okay so at that time you can initiate your entry and then you can see if you had made entry for two or three days so still you would be having you could have made a uh, you know good profit in this particular stock okay and similarly if the price breaks it down okay for example this is your 20 ma and this is your demand zone so you have made your entry here now your target is here that whenever it will touch my 20 ma then i'll exit my position okay so it touched here now you are expecting uh, maybe there will be a fall down right so you can what you can do you can book your uh, 75 percent of lots for example if you are trading with eight lots so you can book your six lot now at any particular time if it breaks this 20 exponential moving average in my day time frame then what i'll do then it can make good uprun okay so you could have easily uh, uh, you know uh, uh, taken profit from this particular trade right so this is how we trade with exponential moving average okay and you can apply supply zone and demand zone right now there are one or two factors that you have to keep in your mind okay so what are these factors first of all when you are uh, using sorry okay so when you are using supply zone demand zone and this uh, exponential moving average okay so there are two or three types of trades okay so first there will be a trade that is of very good quality okay so first there will be a trade of very good quality okay and then there will be a trade of bad quality right so then there will be a trade of bad quality right now how to uh, you know differentiate which trade is of good and which trade is of bad quality right so as we have seen here in this uh, as we have seen here also my uh, this one there is my supply zone sorry demand zone and if i would have taken entry here so my moving average is very close to the demand zone right and in this uh, scenario my demand zone is far from the exponential moving average right so there are two conditions one my moving average is very close to the demand zone and in the second condition my moving average is a little far from my demand zone right two types of condition so this is how we qualify our trade if if my uh, if my supply zone sorry if my demand zone okay if my demand zone is near to moving average okay or you can say exponential moving average 20 okay so agar demand zone aapka kafi pass hai okay so this trade will be of less quality this trade will be of less quality okay so there are uh, it can uh, you know hold a strike rate of 50 to 60 percent right but if your demand zone is far from ema 20 right ema 20 so at that time you can say this particular trade when your demand zone is far from the exponential moving average 20 so it will be of very high quality okay so you can take this trade if you will get this condition okay you can also take this trade okay so you can also take this trade but this trade will only last for like uh, three or four days you will only see the candle three or four candles of daily time frame but if you will if you go for the time uh, if you will if you go for this one the high quality trade so you, you could have easily uh, uh, you know achieved uh, seven to eight day time frame so you could have made a good profit in this scenario like okay now similarly it goes for supply zone also okay so for supply zone if your supply zone if your supply zone okay near to ema 20 ema 20 okay so at the time you can trade this but this will be of less quality right 
इफ योर सप्लाई जोन इफ योर सप्लाई जोन इज फार फ्रॉम अगर आपका जो सप्लाई जोन है वो दूर है इफ योर सप्लाई जोन इज इफ योर सप्लाई जोन इज फार फ्रॉम ओके ई एम ए अगर ई एम ए से बहुत दूर है तो एट द टाइम दिस ट्रेड विल बी ऑफ वेरी गुड क्वालिटी ठीक है तो ये क्या होगा गुड क्वालिटी का ट्रेड आपके लिए साबित होगा ठीक है सो लेट सी इट इन द चार्ट ऑल्सो ओके सो एज आई हैव शोन यू आई एग्जाम्पल हेयर ओके सो यू कैन टेक एनी एग्जाम्पल ठीक है यहां से हम कोई सा भी एक एग्जाम्पल ले सकते हैं तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक ट्रेड ऑफ लेट्स टेक ट्रेड ऑफ इंडाइस ऑल्सो ओके सो लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ निफ्टी हेयर ओके सो आई एम अप्लाइंग निफ्टी हेयर राइट सो दिस इज एक्सपोनशियल मूविंग एवरेज so i have applied exponential moving average here right now you can see if i can create a support zone okay okay so agar main yahan pe for example you can see here this is my demand zone right this is my demand zone because it has created a swing here low swing so i can take the body of the lower most candle and i can create a demand zone here right now my uh, market is in trending market so obviously i can use this strategy because my market is trending okay if your uh, market is like here okay in this sideways direction so at that time you can avoid this strategy right now my market is in trending okay so i have created a demand zone here now my market again fall to the demand zone so at that time you can initiate your trade and you can see there was a very good movement here right so this is how you can also trail your trade okay so at that time you are taking a entry here so you are taking a entry at this point right and uh, you could have made a profit here but you can still trail because now your exponential moving average so your price will take a support here okay a pull back here then again it will move in the forward direction okay so this is how you can increase your profit you can trail your stop loss okay so this was it for today okay so that was all about the perfect strategy okay that includes the exponential moving average and you can take help of supply zone and demand zone okay so i have already qualified you which will be the better trade for you the good quality trades and the bad quality trades okay and at which time you have to use this strategy okay so this strategy will be used in the directional market when there is a direction in the market okay if there is a sideways direction so at that time you can just ignore this trade right so i hope guys this strategy will be clear to you if you are, are having any kinds of doubt so you can just put them in the comments okay so we will answer it for you right and if you are new so you can just install the application and you will get so much benefit and you can uh, increase and maximize your profit okay any point of time you are having any doubts contact us from the support okay so this was it for today's video guys stay tuned for another videos for more important sessions like this okay this is our trainer ankit singh rawat have a good day